I think we're good now. Oh no. Terrible. It's all my fault somehow. Um, because she's the mastermind, yes. This is all Katie's fault. This is all, this is all my girlfriend's fault. She knows what's up. <sighs> as long as we're good now, I've got a choice to make. Are you muted? Can you guys hear? You guys can hear me right now. You can't what is hear wrong with OBS? Today? Sorry about that. I'm not sure what is wrong with OBS today. Um, have I showed my cats on no, stream? I, I, I just, yes. I, no, we, 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 we can hear everyone on stream. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. yeah, no, it's all yeah we're good. We can hear everyone. Yeah, yeah. Someone's screwing with us. Oh yeah, I don't, I have no idea what is going on with OBS today, but. Um, I'll show them again sometime on stream, maybe for the next charity stream. But I did show them both on the previous charity stream, so you can always watch that I, I, if you want. I I read that wrong and, and thought Llama said, "Wait, has Leshy shown his cards yet?" And I'm like, "Yeah, they're right there on the table." I read cards instead of cats. But, uh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I think it's back, and I think all the problems are gone now. But if there's any other oh, audio man. or video problems, let me know, because um, I seem to be having a lot of problems with OBS tonight. But while well, you're choosing your legendary card for beating the angler, Yay. play Restore Your Lives and Clovers. Yes. Uh, always Mantis God. <laughs> I don't know about Mantis God. Mantis God's good, but we've got a lot of decent cards. What do I have in my in my thing here? I've still got a Hive. I've still got... I'm pretty sure... No, I think I did something with the Cockroach. What did I do with the, the Undying Sigil? Um, I'm pretty sure you put it on one of the other cards. On Skink. I put it on yeah. Skink. That was what I did. Um... I've still got pack rat. I could do geck pack rat combo. Uh, not the greatest way to do it, but it would certainly work. Um, or I could put the triple attack on something like Sparrow, like our ridiculous Sparrow here and make him a one hit KO Sparrow. That might be the best play, honestly. Uh, Cause he's already buffed and he has flying. Um, what are people saying in chat here? Undying Skink, yeah, we had that. Wait, there's cards in this game? Where? Um, I, I, I do in this case. I don't think Gek is as big of a deal just because of the cats we have, all the helpful cats. Uh, we don't have much that would specifically help for a free card. And as much as I want to try out Hide Behind, it does seem cool. Um, what does it Hide Behind do again? So Hide Behind, um. You have to play it behind one of the existing cards on the field. And um, when that card dies, the hide behind will attack, and then it will proceed to hide behind another card on your side of the field. Uh, and that's cool. That I like that. All of their, and it'll do that until there's no more cards left at your side, in which case it'll just die because it has zero health. Yeah, if it added the stats like a certain card in the Grimora mod, that would be really cool. Um, but I think I'll go with Mantis God for now and see if we can get it onto something a bit more powerful. Mantis God? Yes. What's the what's the Luke Carter line for Mantis God? Always pick Mantis God. Always pick Mantis, Mantis God. God. Always pick Mantis God. We'll go with the Luke Carter strategy and pick the Mantis God. That's a pretty good strategy. Seems to work for him. I... Like nothing bad ever happened to him. <laughs> yeah, nothing. What were you gonna say? Sorry. I don't even remember. 
Oh, well, we'll take the Mantis God and we'll head to the Area 3. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I almost always pick the Mantis God deck as my starting deck in Casey's mod. Mm. That is a really good one, honestly, for the, especially not even for the Mantis God, but for the, um, for the, the Ringworms, you can fodder off. Yeah, mm. that is true. I, I, that's, that's like one of the main reasons I like it, it's just, um, because I can just get rid of the useless Ringworms right away or make them useful at a campfire. Or make them very strong, apparently. Yeah. Sometimes. And then I also have the Mantis God, which I can proceed to additionally upgrade and get strong and... Because, I don't know, it's just the, the easiest way to die in Casey's mod is just to hit, get, like, a very bad deck of cards. And I feel like that's less likely to happen if you start with Mantis God. That's good for... Yeah, as someone who is a chronic save scummer, having a deck where you kind of know pretty early that it's going to be good, or you know pretty early it's going to be bad, is good to have. Mm-hmm. All right, so... We're also at a checkpoint now because we finished Yay. the second map. So, Yay. you get to meet with the traitor. Oh, hey, guy. I'm pretty sure I have money now, I think. Not much. It's I think a traitor, I not a trapper. So. Oh. You do have, have two pelt. pelt cards. Yeah, you have a golden I pelt and a rabbit pelt. pelt. So, right, I do have pelts. Would you like to trade? Hell yes. All right. We'll start Depends with on what you got to offer, of course. We'll start with the rab pelt then. We'll give you eight card choices for that. More so, good cards. Give me just a second to get all these out. I almost forgot that I had that golden pelt. I don't think it ever came up in battle. I do have a lot of cards now, though. Yeah. That's why I've been, I'm, I'm holding on to that magpie's eye, the magnifying glass. I'm holding on to it. It's going to come in handy one day. All right. So for your rabbit pelt, your choices are bat. No thanks for the bat. Coyote, no thanks for the coyote. Possum. The, the, hard squid. Eh. Ant queen. Eh. Magpie. Ooh, yes, Field please. mice. Also good squid. choice. Oh, the, the good ones came out last. Oh, boy. The good ones came out there at the end. Um, I was not... I was like, the first four, I was like, eh. Now the good ones came out. Um, I, I was saying Magpie could be very good for some things. Magpie could be real handy for some things. Um, just we have a lot of cards. I do have an Opossum in my deck. I could put it on that. Uh, or anything else, really. I have other other stuff it would be good for. Um, uh, could do it on a possum. Field mice. I don't know if we if we badly need that. I don't know if we badly need that. Especially because it's a nerf version. I know it's the nerf version, so it's like that's what I mean when I say I don't know if we badly need that. Um, I don't think too many of our cards that would be helpful for the only one i could think of it being good for was cat but we can't put anything else on that um i i'm i'm inclined for magpie just because we have a lot of we have a big deck and that would come very in handy and we can always put that sigil on something else too uh i'm inclined to take the magpie i think all right magpie it is I think that'll help. I hope I got the opportunity to put that sigil. Four legendary cards for you. Yup, yup. Man, I still wish I had, now I wish I had that on dying sigil still. It's good on skink. Skink skink is a great card to have it on, but I do wish I had it on like say magpie right now. Or, or Pack Rat would have been a good choice, too. But it wasn't... Didn't work out at the time. What have we got for the Golden Pelts? Just give me a second. Let me... Take your time. All those cards. Maybe now we'll get the Gek. And now we have Gek... Maybe like something like Gek Magpie. You never know. 
or something else left one handed. There's a lot of good options. What was a rare card? Doom Lord might be kind of hard to see. Sorry about I that. I have no idea what that does. Amalgam. Amalgam is good if you have totems. Long uh, elk. Ooh, I love I love a good long elk. Ouroboros. Oh, and there's the Ouroboros. Uh, I think it's. I need. I would love to hear about that first card, uh, but I don't think any pitch would be better than Ouroboros right now. I am going Please, to need pitch to look it. at the description of that card again from our winners winners channel in the surfer because I do not remember what that does either. Uh, it uh, let's see. On on or, top of Doom Lord, when this card perishes after one turn, this card comes back to life with one less health from its max health. Wait, what, oh, what was that now? It comes back to if it perishes after one turn, it'll come back to life, but with one less health. So it, it has it's a, it's what's its stat there? I can't read them. Um, it is sorry, it's hard to see. It is a three five. So so it. If it dies, it comes back with, with one health. less, with four health. And then is that permanent? Health. Is that permanent or just for that battle? I think it's just for that battle. Um, Ooh, and then also, you... that's not the only thing it does. Once per turn, during your turn, choose a card on the board, and it loses its sigils for the rest of this turn and the next. Uh, how so much you... bones is that? Seventeen. <laughs> 17? <laughs> yes, you heard that right. Oh, 17. Crap. So you almost need the, the boon of the Bone Lord if you... Crap. I was here being like, okay, I'm getting sold on this guy. And then that happened. And now I am not so sure about <laughs> that play. Uh, That's a really good card. And it would be so good with some of the sigils we have. Not for 17 bones. It's, it's never going to happen. It's just not. <laughs> I could put Corpse Eater on, but I don't have it. It's it's not a gamble I want to go for with the deck I have. It means I'd have to find it and then get a sigil that I could put on. I get like a sigil transfer that I could do later in the game. So that's two things I'd have to get lucky for. I think much rather. Um, uh, don't worry, Ender. We have we don't have a goat, but we do have um, the uh, we do have the cat goat. Um, I don't think we're going to get the Boon of the Bone Lord, but that's, you know, we're going to do what we got to do. I think um, I am going to have to pick Ouroboros here. So, sorry, uh, someone was mentioning the boosts aren't permanent for Ouroboros? Correct, that is true. When you say permanent, like, is it permanent for the run, or, like, just for the battle? Just for the battle, so, like, it'll oh, respawn so it goes... to two for the battle, but, like, the next battle will start over at 1-1 one, one again. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, with hate... your cat, it could still be a useful combo. I could see that at least. Okay. Back a question. If we the sigil on the Bone Lord, we can of course move that to another card, right? What do you mean? Can we? Can we? Oh yeah, yeah you sacrifice? can move those sigils from the Bone Lord to another card. Oh, so what? So sorry. Is the sigil? Is the sigil on the Bone Lord? This, the health drop and coming back, or is the sigil yeah, on the bone lord? Yeah, it's the... two sigils. It, it has two sigils. Oh, so both can be moved. Yeah. And does um, is this like an undying but like an instant play, so to speak? What do you mean? So when it dies, sorry, I'm asking so many questions. By the way, I don't mean to be so specific. Oh, I think it um, takes like a. I don't think it's instant. I think it's like a turn later. It comes back. It comes back the next turn, but like. Is this a replay? So if it was like a magpie, it could keep using the magpie bonus. Um, that is a good question. I actually have to ask them about that. How that Ooh. works? Because like that's uh, a that's an interesting question. That is, I've never had anyone actually use this card before. I think I've had like maybe one person pick this up for their deck, and then like never got the chance to use it. I but, feel like that's with seventeen bones. That is hard. I think I'm gonna have to. As cool as that sounds, which is pretty cool, I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna go then with the Ouroboros and do instead. Uh, try to get that Undying on something better, or try to get something onto like get try to get like um, Magpie onto it would be the idea. I think. All right. Cool Ouroboros. as that sounds. If, it, if if the crowd think if the, if chat thinks you think it's more be more fun to take do more than we'll take do more, but otherwise Ouroboros would be the better call. Well, I'll let chat uh, give their opinion before I take it away. 
I'm feeling. I think Ouroboros would be the better. Like it's it just it you know it's less confusing, and it's a bit a better of a card in of itself. I'd like to see it play too, Llama. I don't think it's going to happen. Is the main problem. This is not a bones deck here. Um, like Andrew, do you, would you prefer the Doom Lord or would you prefer just not Oro? Because my main my main going for Oro is just to get something good on it, like um, Magpie on that. Is my main plan here. Um, transfer sigils. The Bone Lord sigils, the Doom Lord sigils are just a bit more complicated. Do to, oh you mean do take Oro? You said not to take Oro, so <laughs> you were mid message. Yeah, no worries. Um, you could see my confusion by not that when you said not take Oro. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think if no one's too passionate about Doom Lord, uh, it would be great to play. I think we'll stick with Ouroboros and move and and, and go to the next one. I'm not seeing any frantic messages that say, no, no, take Doom Lord. Um, Sounds like a so plan. We'll um, you do get one other thing, though, uh, because normally no I'd be prizes. obligated to refill your items at this point, but your item pack is actually full now because of the gift you took from the angler. Oh, no. Is that another pack rat? <laughs> well, it's your choice. You can either pay 10 gold to upgrade your backpack once more, unlocking a fifth slot, or you can get a pack rat for free. How much gold do I have? Uh, you have I, 11. I have... I'll pay the 10. I'll pay the 10. I'm not taking my pack rat in this deck. Sorry, bud. I'll pay the pack rat mafia off. The pack rat mafia appreciates your patronage. And you now have a fifth item slot. I don't know if I'm going to need that gold, but I don't think I'm going to right now. So I'm cool with it. Main idea is just to uh, get more, obviously. Just get some heavy overkills and just, just kick, kick ass. Get all the money. All get, right. Get laid, get paid Gatorade. <laughs> That's the goal of today. It's been a long time since I've heard that phrase. <laughs> I love you, Sigma. It's so dumb. <laughs> Wasn't that from Jack's films originally? Was it? I don't even know. I want to say... It... I like Jack's films, but I have no idea. If I true. do like Jack. I haven't watched him in forever but i used to like he hasn't that. posted a lot lately he's been doing a lot of big, his big his big video game and whatnot i have no idea who you're talking about jack's films he's a very og youtuber good guy, cool no, guy though like i know the name i never watched him though his older content i feel like was better than his newer content but i also think mm. that wasn't well it wasn't his fault necessarily it's just his older content was no longer favorable to the youtube algorithm yeah so yeah it wasn't like he it, like he he couldn't he knew that he couldn't keep doing that stuff forever and he adapted but like and also so like I mean power to him he he could do whatever he wants to with his channel but mm -hmm. I also just like didn't find like the audience interaction stuff like it was funny sometimes but it wasn't like nearly as like entertaining as like his old skits back in the the era where YouTube skits were popular. Yeah, yeah, who needs audience interaction? That's not important. Anyway, let's get back to our game about yeah, playing uh, Inscription interaction? with pure audience interaction. <laughs> about playing with actual, like, fans of Inscription. <laughs> uh, let's get back to that. that that's, that's much more... <laughs> yeah, what do we know about YouTubers, anyway? You, we're you we're basically just Twitch, we're just Twitch streamers, so... <laughs> you basically made Yai Inscription. Yeah. <laughs> The Yai version of Inscription. All right. So we're on the final area now. And a big old cave. How exciting. Yes. I'm so tempted to do that. And we're going to start off with the cauldron space. Oh goody, more more problems. Who could be this time? Hey. 
Oh, not you again. Old buddy, old pal. We are not friends. How you've have you been? So last much business deal. Not well, not specifically great since then. Hey, hey, but I I arranged for you a meeting with the mysterious woman, did I not? Yeah, I almost died. But you befriended her, didn't you? Made a great business partnership out of that meeting, did you not? It it I feel as though that went well in spite of you not because of you you know but what we'll move past it if it wasn't for my actions you never would have had that business partnership in the first place just you remember let, that i will let it go that's fair but that was you that was you know what i ordered yeah great now that we're on even terms again can i interest sure. you in a premium no. sigil subscription package no 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 oh but but i have a great deal this time uh-huh yeah put the sniper sigil on any card for just three gold i'm broke i'm fully broke you i can spent it all to get the item slot it's okay you can you can go into debt again that is we're not, perfectly fine wait we we're not doing hey, this but, again dude but it worked out just fine last time you paid back your debt i got my money we was all happy it was a, it was a great business it was, but it really wasn't. Um, and and we're not we're not doing the. I, I'll I'll ask I'll ask a question here. I've got some items. I'm not I'm not selling. I'm not buying. But I'm down for a trade if you want. Not the good ones. Huh. The blood transfusion. I would trade you the blood transfusion for two gold. How about for a sigil? How about a what? How about what? How about you trade that card for a sigil? The blood transfusion for a sigil? Mm-hmm. For the sniper sigil? Not for the sniper sigil, but I can give that you- That one's worth three gold. Here. I can give you a sigil of equivalent value. The worthy okay, sacrifice sigil. I've already um, got one of those. I mean, on a kind of. And you couldn't use another? For a rainy day. Just for the item and there's no, there's no, you know, this, your deal is no debt. Correct. But you, you understand that whatever you put the sigil on, you cannot subject it to further modifications without breaking right, the terms of, of the contract. I, I now understand that, yeah. Um, would you do anything other than the word you sacrifice with the old? Mm, I would do... Like, we're the sigil is good. and the the mystery sigil and the backpack sigil. Those are the only Riddle, three. mystery, and backpack. Backpack I could work with. Um, backpack I'd work with you on. Um, I'm sorry, and we just got. I got to update the deck sheet. Excuse me. We got a mantis god. Uh, just gotta update this real quick. Uh, as I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here with this information um trinket bearer would be a good one to have for a lot of reasons and we already have ouroboros um unless you, you have to hydrate i know i'm hydrating right now as we speak uh as you should yes please hydrate stay hydrated everybody <laughs> um what have I got? I've got the Lee Alpha has not been modified. I've got Zeus. I could put that on. Uh, I've got the Ouroboros as I'm dying, and I think I want to put the Magpie um, on that is my major game plan uh, for down the road. Um, getting rid of a card. I have the Inscription Stoat, which I'm gonna I could sacrifice later. Um, we've got Swole. We've got Bees. I still have the hive. Um, what would I put the trinket bearer on? I could put it on. I could put it on anything, right? I believe so, unless it's one of those celestial cards. That's no, I don't need that. Um, what about what about our skink? Put it on skink. 
Well, that seems like pretty heavily modified. Yeah, I, I, I understand if you don't if you're not willing to do that particular. Option. I'd have to charge extra for that option. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Um, you said brittle, undying. Like there's, uh, you didn't say undying. Um, it was trinket, brittle, bear. trinket, bear, and mystery. So it's the um, amalgam sigil, or not amalgam. I've got a not amalgam, I've got a uh, weird one for you. Amoeba. Everyone's saying don't make deals. Also at the same time got a weird one for you would be kind of funny but i understand if it's if it makes it too powerful what if i put a trinket bear on the pack room so it has two trinket bears you know what i'd allow that it'd be kind of funny <laughs> for but it costs one additional gold in addition to the item fuck you i have one gold though i can pay that that's funny um that would be a very well-packed stock. Because I think that's extremely hilarious, I would trade the Blood Transfusion to put the Trinket on the Trinket pair already. But for sure, there's no debt here. There's no fucking debt. Okay. No debt. But you cannot modify deal. the pack rat any further. Fucking deal. I'll give you the one gold that I have and the Blood Transfusion for you the You got yourself Sold. a deal. That is a very well-stocked pack rat. Probably the most well-stocked of all pack rats. <laughs> it's extremely well-stocked pack rat. <laughs> But because Excessive, I think it's excessively really well stocked, it's back. excessively well stocked. Back. Because I think it's really funny, I want to. Do this. Uh, the rat is I, packing. I even go as far as to say it's an obscenely well stocked. <laughs> Grossly. That is a packed rat Grotesly right there. Grossly well stocked. <laughs> oh my god. Flabbergastingly stocked. We have a pack rat with two things in its pack. This is the greatest thing ever. Um, it's so funny. It's not a great card, but it's really <laughs> funny. What are you talking about? It's the best card in the game. It is. I mean, two items for one pack rat isn't bad. Especially with all of our, like, cards that are good for getting other cards on the field. Oh, that smaller pack. I, I love... Is, do you have an item in your game that bounces? something to their hand what do you mean because I, I i in my game i have an item that like returns a card to your hand so you can replay the effect oh okay do you have that in yours no i don't think so okay, okay. yeah so, oh my god i mean Lo if you had something like that then you could just go infinite with the red Ooh yeah <laughs> just keep bouncing it llama pog in chat pulls out <laughs> a smaller backpack from its backpack <laughs> Oh, also, would you like me to arrange for you another business meeting since the last one went so well for you? With the same person? I don't well, know about that. Well, if that was anybody else, I can arrange a business meeting with anybody. But... I don't think that was part of the deal we made, and it sounds like you're trying to shoehorn in some portion of me being a debt to you with that. Hey, 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 this is a complimentary service I offer to all of my customers. Complimentary, you say? You should talk to the doctor. Fire pillow, you say I should talk to the doctor? Yeah, the doctor's fun. The doctor. What does the doctor do again? Like you move sigils, but and the end power was it right? I believe that's what he does. You can have you can ask me yourself if you want to arrange a meeting with him. Uh, uh, he doesn't offer. He's lying. He doesn't offer this. Says Supreme Lord Ender. He's saying it to swindle you. I kind of feel like that is what's happening right now. Hey, so did I swindle you with the mysterious woman, or did she no, give you exactly like... what you were looking for? No, you did. I agree. But this feels like you're trying to shoehorn in a deal at the end of our deal. Hey, there's no contract associated with this. There's no deal. There, there, there. We already made the deal. You, you're, costs, you're, you're done. We, we're, you're done now. He's trying to upsell, yeah. And this costs nothing. There's no debt, no, no fine we already, Well, like I said, we already made our deal on our transaction. Our business is done. This is just... Some, I, could, I can just take off right now if you want to. Hey, if you don't he want it, then I'll just... I'll just he would... Yeah, he yeah. Lie. Why would he lie? What reason would he have to lie? <laughs> you know what? If you don't want to trust me, then you know what? I can just pack up my business right now and just get on moving. I don't need to arrange a business meeting for you. I just like to offer. Hmm. Hmm. All right. All right. You got. You wanna. You wanna. We'll see the doc. Oh, I want to arrange a meeting with the doctor. Sure. I'll have him meet you in a couple spaces. You just keep an eye out for him. I hope this is not a, this, as long as no fine print. It's not a mistake. Let's see what nope. happens. Just listen out for any 
type a weird beeping here. That's usually the best way to find him. He's guilting me. I know, Ender, but I don't. The doctor would be good right about now. I'll be seeing you in a little bit. And with that, the druid takes off. Uh, if I made a mistake, we'll find out. <laughs> oh, I do no, feel I, the guilt. I, I know what's up. I think he was just trying to be friendly. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I know what's up. I know what's coming. We can handle this. All right. So now you I'm going to gonna kick his ass, yeah. Another campfire. All right. Cool. Campfire is cool. Um, what have we got? Uh, I think, uh, yeah, we have double trinket bearer. Um, I think the only thing I'd really love, like to up at this point, uh, we have an opossum that's a three one and I think either killing it or making it into a, a beast is the best call here. And you didn't feed them the ring, a ringworm, did you? Never did. No. Okay. Never had one. Um, Stars, no. Alpha, we've already buffed, and I want to make. I want to keep it around. Hive, I want to get rid of later. Uh, Mantis God, I want to get rid of later. Magpie, I want to get. Rid of later. Um. So I think, yeah, I think the best call here. It, it could be fun to buff the magpie, or the the, the uh, Mantis God, but I want to move that. I think we'll just try to get rid of my opossum. Do a double spin on opossum, or it'll be a really strong opossum. A bro possum, if you will. Uh, did you get Ravel Possum already in your deck? No, I think I have it. I think it's still a three-one. I don't think I ever burned it today. Okay, because I don't have it in your deck anymore. If it, it is, I'll remove it. I'll. I'll, I'll just Let me else. check. Um. Oh, it's on the floor. You know what? Because between the last session and this session, uh, my cats got on the table a few times, and I know they knocked some stuff around, so I think they accidentally knocked the That's possum it. out of your deck. Oh, so bro, possum no, you is actually, trademarked? You do have it. <laughs> bro, possum is copyrighted? Oh, now. no, yeah. There, there's been, there's a whole extensive thing with bro, possum already. In fact, we already have a bro, possum card. Ooh, okay, never mind. Bro, possum is copyrighted. Um, logically, that means it'll probably die from this. Uh, it's only fair. We'll see what we can do with a possum. If it dies, yeah. it dies. Sorry about that. I'm, I He was not in your deck for the last, uh, match, but... No worries. Probably wouldn't have made uh, much of a difference. No, it wouldn't have. Probably, would have, if uh, anything, it would have made things worse, because it would have been yeah. a lower chance of you getting the sun, moon, and stars, so... Uh, a possum was getting a snack. He was out snacking while... <laughs> So you want to put him by the fire more? <laughs> yeah, let's double spin the possum. Double spin? All right. Double spin a possum. Let's go. Plus one attack. Yep, he's a 4-1 now. <laughs> we'll do one more. We'll do one more. 4-1. All right. Ah, uh, he got uh, eaten. Uh, that's fine. It's cool. Goodbye, possum. He wasn't, he wasn't thick. He wasn't bro enough. This particular opossum wasn't bro enough for this. You know what happens? Here, said one of the survivors, you can have the bones. And you receive cool. the jar of bones from your opossum. Candy. Candy. Can do. And let's see what you have after that. Looks like a card choice space. Yay, more cards. All right, so let's see what you get here. What have we got? Uh... All right. We got another black. Oh, another cockroach. Oh, is that? I mean, it's not a talking stink bug. It is a stink bug. But another undying, co another cockroach. Abso-frickin-lutely. Get that boy over here. Cockroach. Yes. Sorry, stink bug. I mean, you know, it's cool. It's cool and all. It doesn't talk though. Get the goat. Oh, get the goat. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah. Oh, 
Ooh, hold up, hold up. Too late? We're too late? I think we might be too late. Too late, alright. I already shuffled into your deck. I know what everyone's saying and they're right, but it's too late. Sorry, I screwed up. Chat's right, I should've gone with the goat. Okay, no going back, damn it. Uh, I'll allow it, cause chat said- Yay! Yeah, there's I'll allow it. Okay, okay, if you're you right, really I should've go, go for- I do, chat's right, I should go for the Bone Lord. Boom, but I, do we really, wait, do we really need it, chat? Is it really that important that we get the Bone Lord? We don't have any Bone card. It'd be pretty good. Pippos really isn't that hard to play. I don't know. Oh my god, Automod. Uh, Automod uh, wasn't a fan of Lamo. Bone Lord Hogs fucks. Message. Bone Lord fucks. Bone Lord fucks. Yeah, sorry, Lamo fucks. <laughs> I told you, if you use a swear word, it does not matter who you direct it at. Uh, Twitch Automod thinks it's, it's bullying. Wow. Wow, that's strange. You were trying to bully the, the Bone Lord. <laughs> According to Twitch Bone Lord Automod. Gets bitches. It is true, the Bone Lord fucks. Uh, alright, alright, we'll take the Black Goat. Take the Black Goat. Black if y'all think it right. would be important, Bone Lord fucks. My girlfriend's giving me weird looks now. <laughs> We're just discussing how Bone Lord fucks. I mean, if the Bone Lord fucks, you could just call him the Boner Lord and end it there. Ooh, the Boner Lord! <laughs> oh my god. I was kind of thinking that. Like, wasn't it obvious? The Boner, <laughs> the boner Lord. Lord. My girlfriend said that was ob that's obvious, oh, no. isn't it? That wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I feel like Inscription R34 probably beat us to this already, but. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe maybe we're. It. I'm sure someone did. All right, we'll go Bone Lord. We'll take the Black Goat. We'll sacrifice him for the Bone Lord. Maybe maybe we're the fur. Maybe we're pioneers in this. We're pioneers of the Boner Lord. Great. What's next? Oh my God. On the agenda. All right. Before you get a chance to look at your map. You're stopped. Ooh, hey, Doc. By the Doc. Yeah, what's up? What's up, Doc? I had a feeling you'd be coming around. Greetings. Welcome to my medical tent. I am a very special type of doctor that performs an experiment that I think could benefit you very much. Tell I've me, heard. have you been to any of those brutish sacrifice stones? I have indeed. Very oh, British. oh, you poor, poor child. I'm afraid what's already been done cannot be undone. But fear not, for I have a much more sophisticated procedure to offer you compared to those barbaric stones. In fact, once you see my procedure, You'll never want to take a look at one of those stones ever again. Mm-hmm. So, unlike those very archaic, brutish stones, my procedure takes one creature and not only transfers its sigil, but its stats as well to the other creature. Of course, the first creature is lost in the process, but... You understand this is all in the name of science, so it, it, it is much more ethical and less cruel and barbaric than those just bl utterly bloody sacrifice stones. Don't you agree? No, I fully understand. I agree, indeed. What Excellent. Can you do? Would you like to volunteer two of your creatures for one of my experiments? I promise I would you. Absolutely. You will love the results. I would absolutely. I do have to ask, though, real quick. Uh, I do happen to have a jar of bones. Is that something you'd be interested in as a doctor? A jar of bones, you say? Hmm. I could appropriate them for some of my studies, but I assume you're wanting something in return. 
Yes. Uh, that would be that would be the idea. I, you know, just in case you have something on hand. Or would you like in return? Um, I mean, I could. Uh, I think maybe I could do another sacrifice if you're cool with it. But if if that's not cool with it, uh, unfortunately, fine. my machines can only do one experiment at a time. That's fine. You got that's anything a... else on hand? Well, I do have some medical items that you might be interested in. I'm not sure how useful these are to you, but. Uh, here. Honestly, more useful than a jar of bones, probably. Let's see if any of these eats your fancy. Do you actually have a medical ice? What you got, bud? Let's key. see. Um, Blood transfusion and medicine. Ooh, another key. How many keys do I have right now? Two. I think I might have to take that key, right, Chad? Think about it for a second. Uh, yeah, chat, sand key. Medical key. Made of very, like, <laughs> I think medical key would be a great plan. Oh, yeah, I'll happily switch jar bones for key. Excellent. All yours, bud. I didn't, I didn't really need it. Uh, but I'd still love to do that sigil trans sigil uh, experiment. Perfect. Um, I would love to do it as well. I, I had a feeling you would. Um, let's do here um there's so many cards to think through now uh but my main main cards magpie we got magpie we got bees we got mantis god and we got ouroboros um and i think i think i want to go back to my plan of magpie onto ouroboros because that would also make it a 2-2 which is a little bit better for that for an ouroboros um the other option would be Undying on Mantis God, which would be very good. But I also think it could be good. It, 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 I, don't, I don't think I'm going to like let it die, depending on situations that happen. You never know. But, um, I think, can we put the Magpie sigils on, and stats onto our Ouroboros and make an infinite Magpie? An infinite, flying infinite Magpie. Or if flying so Magpie Ouroboros. onto Ouroboros? Yeah, magpie sigils and stats onto Ouroboros. Like this? I'll also uh, change the a, doctor. Assuming the magpie is the one we're getting rid of and the yes. keeping, then yes. I don't know which one is which, but yeah. Alright, then let's proceed with the experiment. Oh, you're probably going to want to step out of the tent for this next one. Yeah. It can get yeah, a little no, bit, I'm not uh, good with blood. Violent. I'm, so. I'm not good with blood. I'm cool with that. Perfect. Well, I'll let you know when the experiment is over. Doctor pushes you out of the tent. Pretty soon, you hear the medical machines inside his tent start to go wild and violent. The beeping and whirring gets higher pitched. It sounds like it's ramping up to something. You see flashes of light coming from inside the tent. And worst of all, you hear the poor, agonizing screams of your helpless creatures oh, inside oh, the machine. So... Sorry, man. You're God. very tempted to look inside, but you dare not look. You just close your eyes and cover your ears, waiting for the experiment to end. After a few minutes, the noises subside, and the doctor beckons you back inside the tent. I don't know if I want that, hero. The experiment, it was a rousing success. Unfortunately, like always, the first creature perished in the process. But, there it goes. your Ouroboros now has excellent vision and can fly. A very powerful card by you say it like it should have been able to. Feels like it should have been able to fly to begin with, but that, that yeah. I think that's how an Ouroboros works, right? It's a flying dragon. I'm, I'm getting off topic. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let me see. I can uh, get it. It's, uh... Yep, 2-2. Two, two. Uh, and, and, and heroes... So I'm getting voices in my head saying I should give you a hug. I don't know if I want... I, I No offense to you. I imagine you're very sterile right now. Uh... The doctor looks at you confused. Yeah, I'm confused, too. Well. 
here is your new car. Oh, before you leave, you're gonna wanna take one of these. Take one of what? Medicine. You'll wanna Ooh, give this to some. your new creature before too long. Otherwise, uh, sometimes the results of my experiments are known to be unstable. And it could oh, lead no. to undesired transformations if you don't so, give it this medicine. This medicine tends to control any unwanted transformations or mutations. So I have to do that within a battle. I have to give it medicine, or it will bat, or it will bat. Correct. Or it will bat. Okay. I. Mean, it's up to you. I, I. I'm. I'm only a doctor, and I can only give you my best medical recommendations. But at the end of the day, it's up to you to take care of your creatures. But. I would keep my warning. You don't care want my... any unnecessary mutations. I would love to take care of my creatures, uh, minus the goat I'm about to sacrifice to the gods. Um, otherwise, yes, I will take care of my creatures. Excellent. Well, thank you for participating in one of my experiments. Happy we could. Happy we could help. I'll be happy to let you participate again in the future when I'm ready for another patient. Yeah, sure. Be down for that. Until then, I'll be seeing you around. The doctor gives you a wicked smile and then goes back to his research. Give him a salute and proceed down into a dark cave, I guess. That is up to you. Do you want to go through the cave or do you want to go I, on the I river path? I feel like I do very much want to go down to that cave. I, it seems like this is a bad idea, but also seems like a lot of good stuff in the cave. So, so cave. Cave? All right. I'm gonna say cave. Got a mine for dying. <laughs> cave. I might need to. Uh, and yeah, I see the lock up ahead. That's the big one. Or. All right, you enter the cave and you immediately stumble upon an altar. Ooh. Unlike the previous altars, though, this one is different. There's only one space, meaning you can only sacrifice a creature. I have a black goat right here. Very biblical. Let's kill it. Didn't even add it to my deck sheet. I didn't think I'd have it for very long. Is this your final decision? Seems like it'd have to be, given the given what chat made me do. All right. You sacrificed the black goat. The bone lord was very pleased with your sacrifice. You've gained a greater boon for the Bone Lord. Big bone! Chat freaking out about the diamonds. All right, y'all, we're working on Minecraft IRL, but but it's Minecraft. gonna take a little bit, okay? You gotta, you gotta hold on. Minecraft <laughs> IRL is called- Summon zombies right now. Minecraft IRL is called going outside. <laughs> Oh, True. no, because there's no zombies outside. That you know of. Why would you say that? Why, why would you say that? There was you, did, you had no reason to say that. Now I have to worry that everyone's a zombie. I already worried that everyone's a skinwalker. Why would... You just do what you do in Minecraft. You dig a hole, you hide in it, and you'll be fine. That's true. Probably. That's a good idea. I'm going to live out the rest of my days in a hole. So All right. Fine. So now that you're done with that, you have at least two sacrifice spaces ahead. I'm cool with that. A lot of sacrificing to do. So, yeah, we do. That's fine. So, let's get to it yep. then. Let's start with the... Uh, what do I have got here? I think we're, oh, I think we'll start with getting rid of the Mantis God and putting it on our super uh, uh, ball and sparrow. As much as I'd like to keep Mantis God around because it is Mantis God, the sparrow is a bit more ballin' right now. It's a 2-4 sparrow. Also, I just realized I'm also missing your beehive from the deck, and I'm wondering if my cats knocked that down, too. 
Uh, is Inscription Stoat still in the deck? That one's also should be there. Um, yes, Inscription Stoat is still there. Darn. I kind of was hoping you got rid of that one. Uh. <laughs> yeah, no, that one's still there. Darn it. There's nothing good I can do with that card. I might put bees on it, because I think it's the only card left I'm going to be able to put it on. Um, but this, I will go ahead with this uh, Sigil Transfer. All right. Mantis God has been sacrificed. And now try strike. Each. Now I'm getting rid of that Mantis God. We got a trifurcated Sparrow. There we go. Oh yeah, Hero is also free. I could do something with that. I didn't really think about that while I was doing all this. Um, all right. Probably not bees. Maybe I should have put something like Magfire Trinket. Are you sure we didn't get rid of bees last time? Does anything have... I don't think anything else has bees in the... Was it like at a campfire though, potentially? No, I wouldn't have done that. Okay. I would never have gotten rid of it the wasn't bees like I put the... it on something. Okay, yeah. I'm not sure what happens to the card then. For some reason it got out of my deck, but I think that... It well, I'm going to get rid of it in a second, so yeah. I'm, I'm going to put the bees on something. Um... No, I would never have gotten rid of bees. I love bees. Alright, then uh, what do you want to put the bees on then? Uh, for my next sigil that's a damn good question though is the problem uh i don't know uh it wouldn't make sense to put it on i could oh i could put it on jojo jojo's pretty good um uh, jojo's a four, a four five with guardian um that's pretty solid uh guardian jumps in front of whenever you get attacked right that's guardian Guardian, when opposing card is played. No, it's when that card is played. Still good. Um, I'm, Yeah, let's put bees on JoJo. Stuff JoJo full of bees. We'll go ahead and stuff JoJo full of bees. Cat full of bees, boys. Bee Jojo. Poor Jojo. <laughs> so full of bees. It's probably painless. Probably was worse for the beehive we just smashed to get that. Um, so now I have the choice of the lock or the sigil. By the way, are you muted right now? Because I can't hear you if you're talking. Oh, my bad. Sorry. I didn't realize I was <laughs> muted. I was wondering for a second there. No worries. My bad. I was saying, yeah, you have the choice between the lock and the sacrifice space now. I'm definitely going for the lock. I just don't know what it is. Oh. All right. You approach a gated path. The gate has three locks on it, so it requires three different keys. Wow, we needed that third key, didn't we? Will you use your three keys on the gate? I think I've got to. Oh crap, we're here, y'all. I would I will use my three keys on the three locks. I have three of them. Alright. The gate has been unlocked. And you're able what to proceed have, forward. What have we done? The secret tunnel. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel through the mountain. All secret, right. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. There you go. Now his chat's getting into the secret tunnel. <laughs> All oh right. Boy. So Where we have a couple have we spaces gone? in here. Um, before we continue, I I wanted to first ask Mister Invisible, uh, how much longer would you like to go? Because I know you said you had some. I know um, you're in the middle of moving, and we've already been going yeah. a little bit over two hours, so I don't want to go too long. If, I, I could definitely do at least the... Uh, I think I want to get up to that black space. I think I can reach there. Okay. Uh, and we could do the black space, and then I'll, I'll call it and probably at the top of the hour. 
All right, so why don't we do brief intermission first before we do these cool. uh, next two spaces. And then, we'll, and, then and then we'll, we'll speed run these fights. We'll speed run these fights. All right, sounds like a plan. It'll be a cakewalk, y'all. We're going to just speed through these and get right on through. It'll be no problem. All right, so we'll be right back. And when we return, we'll do a couple more battles and then finish up for the night. All right. See you guys oh boy. in a few oh boy. <laughs> So chat, how's it going? How's your day been? All right, let's start talking about all the secrets and lore now. Oh yeah, yeah, we can start talking <laughs> about all the secrets and lore. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. No, I they they can hear me though. Isn't it so funny how Mr. Invisible's girlfriend is behind all of it? I mean, she she's the true. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I forgot. Yeah, it's amazing how much of this she orchestrated. Yeah, she's. Well, She's the, she's the old data canon. It's it's funny because because they can hear me having a one sided uh, conversation, and I sound I sound like I'm deranged and insane, which is <laughs> a fair assumption.
All right, we are back. Back into the fray, then. Yes, indeed. We have uh, two more battles to finish up before we end for the night. And you see what's in that black spot. Has anyone ever gotten... People have gotten to this area. I'm not yes, the first. you're not the first to get okay. to this area. But I'm going to be the last. <laughs> yeah, probably not. All right. And I assume you don't want to skip either of these battles, correct? Never. All right. In that case, then we'll start with the first one. Could I got the first one. Probably take a vulture. Yeah, I got the first one ready for you while we we're on our intermissions. Now I guess all we need to do is roll to see how many cards yep. we start with. Here we go. Six. Oh, nice. Yes. Finally got the lucky six. We got the big six. All right. Let's see the six cards you're working with. Alpha. Oh, and I can't forget the squirrel also. Jojo. Oh, good. Jojo and Zeus. Nice. Ooh, oh my god, cats. and the cat. All the cats! It's a cat party! And thanks to that cat, I could play them all. And, and hit, we got boss hit boss, too. Nice. A good classic hit boss choice. Hi, sorry, I'm back. Uh, my computer keeps crashing. <laughs> Oh, speaking of crash, I think something's happening with the stream again, too. Come again? We were... Connection's terrible. Again. Hey. Well, just gotta deal with it, I guess. Yeah, oh well. Seems to be an inevitability at this point. Also, I think it accidentally took one of your cards away, but here, here's your pit boss again. Ah, there we go. And yeah, I think we're ready to start then. If, if there's no more technical glitches, hopefully. I sure hope so. Yeah, what I was uh, saying before I... that is, uh -huh. uh, my computer keeps crashing. And it's probably gonna crash again, so I'm probably yeah, gonna head out a little bit early. Yeah, we're all having computer issues, but yeah, no worries. That's fine. Yeah, we're, we're probably at the end soon too, as well, right. especially if these computer issues continue. Well, see you guys later. Um, all right, see you later, Fire Pillow. Let me finish up here. I think I've got this pretty decently here because we have Alf. We have a. I think we can honestly win this in one, uh, with with the cat specifically um let's try it uh, oh also i forgot you because you got the six you get the jackpot so oh yeah get... i get the gold which i'm so my gold's up to what now 10 
and gold. Oh boy. Uh, and I'm gonna get more because we're gonna go for. Let's play cat in lane four using the squirrel. All right, cat in lane four. And that yeah, has one stinky and stinky. worthy sacrifice. Worthy sacrifice cat, correct. Which is gonna come in clutch here. Um, play Jo. Use the cat to play Jojo in lane one. And uh, with all of my bones from the Bone Lord, guess you were all right, everybody, with doing that trick. Uh, play Alpha in lane two, uh, which is a two-four Alpha, <laughs> and uh, nice. win. Just win instantly. Um, it's just a matter of overkill damage at this point. I believe since the Alpha deals two, that's a grand total of eight damage, meaning three overkill. Five, one, so yeah, five, six, seven, eight damage, yes. I told you, we're gonna speed these fights. This is gonna go quick. The, the six cards helped though. The fact that I got the cat and the six cards was kind of the, the reason that one. All right. Good, good top deck for that one. Very good top deck for that Yes, one. indeed. And with three overkill, finish a battle in one turn. No Very problems. Efficient. And immediately on to the next one. Squirrel's cr crying now. Llama Pog, fine chat. The squirrel's crying now. Because we killed it. I guess it's not crying now because it's dead. Uh... Sorry to make you set that whole battle up just immediately. And <laughs> no worries. <laughs> just to kind of instantly win it. Um... On to the next one. Yep, new battle. Let's go. We're you not skipping. We're doing this. Expecting to see a group of angry creatures. Oh no. However, you're surprised. Find them all already perished by the time you get there. What? Oh, oh hi. Just thought hey. I would do a little something to help you out. I hope you don't mind if you. I got rid of these creatures for you already. I appreciate it, yeah. Here. Thanks for the help. We're gonna you can take the gold I managed to get from them. Not like oh, I have any use for it anyway. Dang, how we're rich now. Make friends with the mysterious lady, everybody. She's the best. That brings up to 18, actually, I think. Because that combined with the overkill from the last battle. I got some money now. I don't know if we're going to even have a use for it, but we'll see. Good luck. Um, you have a very ferocious battle up ahead. Yeah, what what is I'll that up ahead? Everything you have up to this point to survive it. Make use of those special cards. Now's the time oh. to do it. For real, okay, if you say so. And with that, the mysterious woman vanishes once again. Oh. Okay, y'all, so we gotta be, um, we gotta be real careful with this fight, apparently. What, uh, what is this black hole we're stepping into now? You approach the middle the secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Yeah, do not misplay this one. Uh, I think it is a boss. I think we're gonna have to use the tools. Uh, this is what I've been keeping that magpie's eye over there, or the, the magnifying glass ready for. So what's up, When you get fan? to the middle of the secret tunnel, you find someone waiting for you there. They look up at you, and suddenly, you see it's not a full humanoid body, but just a head. It's Twitch. Twas Twitch chat themselves, <gasps> embodied in their physical form. 
I don't want to fight chat. Unfortunately, you have no choice. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. This is your final test to see if you're ready. See if I'm ready. All right. But you're not just facing me. You're facing Dude, all of us. Oh god. That's too many masks. Way too many masks. Oh, here comes the here's going the music. And that this is probably going to be a good stopping point for tonight. Oh, we're not going to do it. Uh, it seems like a good thing to save for next time because it's a pretty <laughs> lengthy battle. That's fair, but damn. I figured uh, probably be good to save for next time. Uh, as much as I want to do this now, you're probably right. Yeah, especially because if you have packing to do, I don't want to keep you from that too long. We're, we're yeah, almost at three I know. hours now. So I know you said I, you I would probably keep myself and want to do this, but you're probably right. I <laughs> should go back. We'll have oh, plenty of opportunity. Right. Fortunately, by taking this route, uh, you get a shortcut through area three. So like, mm -hmm. by the time you leave this cave, you'll be like almost done with the third area. So, that's fair, that's fair. So I think Sorry, chat. next time we'll, we'll have save it. a good amount of time to uh, finish up the rest of the game. And yeah, Supreme Lord Ender is right. This is a long fight. Compared to, like, Trapper Trader, that's not too long of a fight. Because especially if you know the strategy for Trapper Trader. Yeah, I right, know. It, it is not, I know the Trapper Trader. I mean, there's not much you could do to make the Trapper Trader formula harder. Like, because, like, just because of how, like, once you understand the gimmick, that's all you need to... Yeah, I know the basics of that fight. But um, yeah, so that, that one's going to be a, a quick one, I think. And then, um, I think there's like only other, like, like maybe like one other battle besides that left after this. So I think, you know, we'll have enough. If we do like a three hour, three to four hour session next time, we should be able to finish the rest of this. So. Who boy. Yeah, I'm down. For, I'm excited. Uh, Lev, got to make sure right. I get Wi-Fi set up at my new place before that week. Yes. Oh, yeah. We'll uh, figure that out ahead of time. And, uh, no, yeah. no, I just... Because I'm moving to a new place, I got a new Wi-Fi router. No, I'll be good. Uh, be looking forward to it. I'm, I'm awesome. already so excited. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, everybody. It has been another fun session. Hope you guys all had fun and um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And before you go, uh, let's give somebody a raid. Thank you all for coming so much. Uh, thank you, uh, Leshy, Uncle Leshy. Go have fun with your nephew. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Unfortunately, get... I still won't be able to see him until next month. But uh, whenever you get the you chance, know, you guys will know because there will be like because I'll have to like take a two week break from streaming because I won't be able to. I probably won't be streaming while I'm at my parents' house, or if I do, it won't be anything. But I, totally won't, I won't be able to stream this set because I'm not going to be bringing this whole set with me. Yeah. It is yeah. Don't do much. that way too much to pack up so yeah that'd be a that'd be a nightmare if Nora's uh still streaming we can rate her that might be a good one go for it Nora is the one who made my png models let's see awesome oh yeah uh, Nora's not uh streaming anymore darn who's online here Not many people online right now. Let's see who's playing Inscription. We got That's someone a good named choice. Astrid, the Horror Girl, White Moth, and <laughs> Jackalopy. Interesting options. <laughs> All right, chat. Which of those names sounds the most appealing? That's usually how I decide. <laughs> that that works. 
Oh, I love this theme. Uh, I just love the flesh, the the, the battle really theme. theme. So catchy. Hmm, I'm torn between White Moth and Jack Galapi. I like White Moth because it reminds me of one of my favorite episodes of Black Mirror. And I also like, but Jack Galapi has less viewers right now. I like supporting people with. Yeah, let's less go less. Let's go support people who need the viewers. All right, let's do that. Jack All right, see, like see everybody. YouTuber, so we'll, yeah, we'll see you there, guys. Thank you for Goodbye. joining us. I don't want to press the raid button. Yeah. All right. Go. Good game. Yeah, lots of fun. Excited for the big boss uh, that I have to do now. Yeah. Whew. All right, yeah, I gotta get packing. Yeah, go ahead and pack. I know that's gonna be uh, pretty busy, but good luck with yeah, that. Yeah, I don't wanna, but it's gotta get done. Yeah. You're not wrong. Let me know All right. uh, if you're available to stream next weekend or if you need. Yeah, it should be good I, next I week. I totally understand if you can't, if you'd like, you know, you're still like. No, I should be good. Something. I got a whole but, week. Yeah, just let um, me know. I should probably be good that week. I'll let, I'll let you know if anything changes. Awesome. Uh, if for some reason I can't get a router, uh, but I should be good. But yeah, um, hope you have a good night and good luck with the rest of your packing. Yup, you too. Have a good one. Bye bye. Thanks. See ya. Did you have a fun time? I wish I had this many guys rubbing their viewers against my body. Well, geez, I appreciate the raid. I appreciate your raid too, Root. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, you didn't, uh, you didn't tell me what you were, if you were mining or, uh, oh, you were just playing normal Minecraft. Were you building some sort of fun thing in Minecraft? <laughs> uh, the dank smell of the tepid water invaded your nostrils. You had reached the wetlands. Okay. So, hang on. Uh, it looks like I still- it looks like I only have one item or two items. Somebody told me